Now that we got all the nodes connected and let's try running the automation flow and try uploading our first YouTube video through the NA10 flow. In this vlog, I'll be clearly explaining you how this each node works and by the end of this video, you can have your own automation flow working on your local machine through the Llama local models. So while it, let's start running this particular model and here now we are trying to fetch the details like title, description and tags from the local model in the HTTP request mode. Then we try downloading the file from the Google Drive and parallelly we'll try to refine the title, description and tags through the code in JavaScript node here and we'll try to download the file here and trying to upload the file to the YouTube here. Yes, the flow is now successfully completed and let's try visiting the YouTube here. So you can see there is no video currently in the upload status. Let's try refreshing the browser here. And now here you will be able to see the video is now getting uploaded here. So that is master super base backend integration. And now we can clearly see the video is now getting uploaded to our YouTube channel. Here you can clearly see the details here master super base backend integration effortlessly. And if we try to observe the code in JavaScript here, here you can see this is what the title description which we are now able to see on our channel here. So I'll be clearly explaining you each and every step that we did in this process here. So here you can see we have got multiple nodes here and I'll be explaining you what are all these nodes do and also I'll be guiding you in detail like how to get started even if you don't know anything about automation or n or Olama, Docker, all the tools I'll be explaining you, I'll be providing you the detailed videos on them as well. So while it, if you're watching this video for the first time, hit the subscribe button and also stay notified to our videos coming from Amplify Abhi. And now try to see whether the upload is completed or not. So here you can see our YouTube shot is now successfully uploaded to our channel and is currently in the processing state. And also you can see the visibility is now public. So let's get back and try to see the flow what we did in detail. So here I will try to show you right from the scratch how to get started here. The first thing is I am adding the trigger manual so that whenever you tap on this particular trigger right the flow will start. And the next step what do we require here is the HTTP request. So this particular HTTP request we will make to the Lama model that resides on our local machine. Yes, we are not trying to connect to any AI model that is running on the cloud like ChatGPT or Gemini. We don't, we are not using the online available AI models. We have downloaded the Llama models over here. You can find in this particular video, I have clearly explained you how to get started with the Llama on your local machine and also how to make use of the models without having the internet connectivity even. So if you have not gone through this particular video, I suggest you to go through this because this is a very important concept if you are a complete beginner. And the first step is we need to post the information. So we need to post the information to the Llama model and try fetching the information. I will be clearly explaining you now what is the information we are trying to post. And now that one more thing I want to explain you very clearly. We are running n 10 on Docker and in this video I have clearly explained you the setup process like how to get started with Docker and how to install n 10 containers over there. The reason here why I am explaining this Docker is we are now making use of this particular URL and through this particular URL we are trying to access the Llama models. Whenever you try running this particular port number on your local machine you could be able to see Llama is up and running and from the docker you are utilizing your local host. So generally we need to provide the local host URL here but we can't directly connect from docker through our local machine local host. So, I am trying to utilize through the docker here, docker internal, I am providing this particular port number and try generating the data. So don't get confused in simple way, 
through the docker if you want to access the llama models this is the way how you deal with and i have clearly explained you in this particular setup so i suggest you to just go through that and if you are still having any queries feel free to ask me in the comment section below and now we are trying to send the body here and in this body we are going to specify the request what we require so now this is like a json content type here and i don't want to go through the fields i want to just specify the json here that will be very much clear for our understanding as well so this is what the json i want to pass and here clearly the model phi3 mini is the llama model which we have downloaded on our system and it's completely a local model here we are that particular model will not interact with the internet i'll be quickly showing you here so in the llama settings here you can see expose llama to the network i have disabled it and quickly you can just test it here i am typing hi and i'll be quickly getting the output from the llama model that is phi3 mini hello how i can help you so this is what the same model we are going to use here in our automation flow and the prompt here you can clearly see generate an attractive youtube title and description for uploading a video on superbase backend so if you see the youtube shot which we are going to upload is the superbase backend integration shot and the third thing is stream false so i don't want any additional data in the output so i am disabling the stream data here so this is what we are doing for this particular step here and when you try executing this let's try to see the output what we will be getting so this particular json request right is been passed and tags we requested right so here you can see we got the response and in this particular response we got the title here description and also the tags and now the next step is let's try refining the output so here we do have all the additional fields as well like model created at context which we don't require here so let's try adding one more node here and this particular node is a code node where we have the two options like javascript and python here so i'll be using the javascript here and the function i'll be writing here such that i will refine the output which we got from the model i'll be clearly providing you all these functions in the blog and the link will be in the description section below so here is the javascript function i have added and now let's try connecting the nodes here so yes the node is already connected and let's try to execute this step and here you can see clearly the input which we got this from this http request node right so here the output is provided like input in this particular module and here it is refined through this particular function and you can clearly observe the output here we just got title description and tags whereas we have lot of information here in the input so i hope this is very clear for you again so just this particular node we are trying to refine the output we got from the model and the next step what i would like to do is i have uploaded my video to the google drive here and the reason why i did it because from the self host n8n i am not able to upload the video to the youtube so there i was facing some problem and i thought like let's try to upload it to the google drive and from there we'll make use of it and upload to the youtube from there and also going forward here we have provided the prompt manually here what we'll be doing is in the google sheet itself we'll provide the model prompt stream option and try fetching the information from the google sheet itself instead of manually entering the data inside the nodes and also you can do this because i'll be explaining you the google drive node as well here so let's try adding google drive node as well here we got this google drive node and the file here and the action i'm going to select is download file and i have already connected my account in our previous tutorial where we have created the configuration for youtube right i have clearly explained you how to connect with your google cloud console account here and you can see 
I have already connected. If you are trying to connect for the first time in this video, I have clearly explaining you, but I quickly try to provide you. This is the project. And in this particular project, let's try enabling the Google Drive API, which I have already did here. So if you have not enabled this particular API, try enabling it. And also you need to enable the YouTube API as well. If you are still having any issues in connecting your account, right? Just let me know in the comment section below or visit this particular tutorial there. I have clearly explained you how you can connect your Google account to N810 here and resource is again file here and the operation is download and from I am selecting by URL and try copying this particular URL here. So here I am trying to copy this particular link and try pasting the link over here. And now try to execute this particular step and try to observe the output first before going to the next node. Here you can see we have got the output file name, file type is mp4 and size everything details we have got it. Yes, this is working as expected. And now we have got these two things parallelly running and you might get a doubt why I have connected the HTTP request to the download file as well because I just want to make sure both the things will run at same time because I want to merge the output even here. So the next step what I'm going to do is I'm considering the merge node here and trying to merge the output of these two nodes here. So I think uh, this is already connected. So the Google Drive I'm connecting to the input one and the code in JavaScript node I'm connecting to the input node two. So the next thing is we are trying to connect the YouTube node and in the YouTube node we are going to select the action like upload a video and here again you can see my YouTube account is clearly connected here and the resource is video operation type is upload and we need to fill the title and the remaining things here. So in the Google Drive here, we need to specify the output field and let's try running this particular flow now. And also in the code in JavaScript in the settings, always output data here. And now let's try running the flow once again so that we fetch the information in the merge node as well as upload a video node as well. And now the HTTP request node is currently running, which will generate the data from the Llama model. And thereafter, Google Drive is running. And you can see the merge node is also running successfully. And we can also see the output data here. And let's try to go to the YouTube. And that's it. Our video is now uploaded to the YouTube. And here you can clearly see we just had some issue with the JSON title here. So you can clearly see the JSON title. It went the similar way to the YouTube channel, but okay, that's fine. The end objective is now that we, I have recreated the entire flow once again here, and you can clearly see that the video is now uploaded again to the YouTube channel here. I'm going to delete this and I don't want this video to be uploaded now here on the channel. That's it. It is very clear to get started with the YouTube automation. And I suggest you to go through the previous tutorial as well, because that is a base for your YouTube configuration. And also you can add one more node here as I have shown in the previous workflow. So I'll be quickly showing you. In the first workflow here, I have shown the edit field and in this particular workflow, you'll be getting the upload ID as well. And if you're still having any confusion or any issue, just let me know in the comment section below. And here is the detailed playlist here. Every video is very important from the beginner's perspective. And I suggest you to go through them right from the first video till this particular video so that you will get a very good confidence on how to automate your workflows using the self-hosted NA10. So I hope this is very clear for you and this is it for this particular video. If you like this video, do like, share and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content.